Hey y'all, it's Abby from the SC Can Go College Ambassadors Program, and I'm here to talk to you guys about college tours today. So as this crazy time's coming up in our lives and we're trying to narrow down where our future is headed and where our degrees are headed, it's important to know all of your options. So my favorite way of doing this is by going to colleges themselves and touring them to see your environment, the programs there, and what's best going to fit you in your next big step in life. So come along with me and I'll take you through the process of booking a tour. So your first step is to go onto a college website of your choice. You are then going to scroll down to the visit campus section, usually located in the menu bar at the top right of the website. As you scroll down, you will see how it says individual visits. And for most colleges, it'll be something like this that will indicate you to register a visit and specify the date, the time, and how many guests you will be having on your visit. So whether it is a group or individual tour. A group tour is usually booked as if it's a big organization of like 15 to 30 people. So that's usually through a church or something, whereas individual is you and your direct family itself. And then you just pick your day and you give details about your visit and that is how you schedule your college tour. So as you guys can see, the process for setting up a tour for a college is actually quite simple. Now, while on some of the tours that I have recently done, two of them being self-guided tours and two of them being a tour guide themselves, I have found that tour guides are a lot more helpful if you are willing to go that option because you will actually find out from a direct student how the college is and their academic programs and you'll find out all of the background information of the college that can be very helpful in your college decision process. So I hope you guys book your tours just as I have and good luck to all of you. Hey guys, so I just got back from my U of SC tour for the college visit and I thought I would let y'all know about some of the pros and cons of what I experienced on my tour. Now for the only really con is that it is still during COVID safety area for the campus. So I was not allowed into certain buildings and certain things just to for safety measures for the students and the staff and for my safety. So it was kind of weird not being able to go everywhere, but that being said, I still learned so much. One of my favorite things is when a tour is given by a current student because then you really get a sense of campus life and you get to be told about everything going on and their experiences and what they like and don't like. And it's just a really nice experience to be able to go and see and hear one-on-one -on -one from a student, especially when they're in your major and they can tell you about the process for your major. Now, at the beginning of a tour, typically you will meet in a centralized building where they will go over the plans for the day. And a tour can take anywhere from like two to two and a half hours. And you get a big old information packet. So that's really helpful for you to go home and continue to do your research and continue to look up facts about the college. And then for you to go on other tours, because the most important thing is that if you're going to go on a tour is to go on a lot of tours because you're not going to be able to very much get a sense of where you belong until you are able to compare the two colleges and compare your experience and how you felt and their academics. And that's what's really going to help you decide where you end up wanting to go. Now for me, my next tour trip is all the way to Alabama. So wish me luck guys and I will see you later. This is just a final reminder that booking a college tour does not mean that you have to go to the college or that you have to have already been accepted, but it's a great way to grow your knowledge on the college and to ultimately help your decision making as to where you end up going.